So I get the perfect session. Yeah, the session that is amazing because we just got good food. So whatever I say does not matter. The stomach is full and we all are happy. You see, when I started in this business, I was 17 and I was asked a very important question. Sanjay, why are you joining this business? And the answer is by mistake. How many of us get into our professions by mistake? Well, I got into my profession by mistake and one of the questions that was asked to me was, why do you not regret it? Because we usually regret mistakes, correct? So the question is, why do I not regret my mistake? And the answer is, well, I got good at doing it. And if you get good at doing anything you do, you don't regret it. When I was 17, my father told me a very interesting story. He said, Sanjay, you're going to inherit a business. So yes, I'm not one of those self-made men that people claim to be. I got to inherit an empire of business. But let me tell you, that's even more tough. Because I had to start at the high, not the low. And I had to take the high to a higher, and not from a low to a high. See, a lot of people think it's very easy to take over an empire that's already running. Trust me, you're filling in shoes that are bigger than your own feet. And that's the reason why it was even more difficult to do what I do. He said, Sanjay, when you come into my shoes, you will have people working for you who have got way more experience than you, who have got a lot more education than you, who are going to be a lot more experienced than you are. How are you going to compete with that? Not only that, they're going to ask you a very important thing. Anytime they get stuck, they will come to you for advice. You see, that was the job of a leader, right? Anyone gets stuck, come to me. Now, they'll come to me when I don't even know the ABC of my business. I was 24 when my father had a brain stroke, and I had to inherit the business from him. I was just 24. I was straight out of high school, well, university. I did not know what to expect. Nine months into the business, and I actually almost shut it down. I lost so much money that we almost ran the business down to the ground. So I grew that empire into a peanut. And I could do that in nine months. Anyone tried that? <laughs> Anyone wants to try that? It's an achievement, exactly. I did it in nine months. And then I sat down with my father and I said, Dad, I think there's two things that's going to happen. One, either I'm going to run the business to zero, into the ground, or I'm going to go nuclear. I'm going to explode so much that people will wonder what I do. He said, what do you want to do? I said, I don't know. But I'm going to do something crazy. And that's when I reimagined my business. And the last nine years, we have now grown into 53 countries we have gone a thousand percent in turnover and the next year already looks phenomenal. There was only one crazy thing that I did. I reimagined what my business can do. And then we came across this whole concept. So since morning we've been listening to disruptors, yeah? We've been listening about Uber, Airbnb. We've been talking about businesses that have to revolutionize the way we do business. I had the privilege of meeting a gentleman called Nick Bontis. And I can quote him when what he told me was phenomenal. He said, Sanjay, in the 1970s, when you were in university, the total information in the world, yeah, so what we're calling the global information, used to double every nine years. So if I looked at the total information, every nine years, global information would double. In the 80s, that came down to four. So every four years, global information would double. And that's why if you were studying in the 80s, they told you, have four or five years of work experience, come back and do your masters. Am I correct? Yeah? In the 90s, it came down to two. 
And that's why a lot of the B school said, do your bachelor's, get two years of work experience, you can come and do our master's program. In the year 2000, it came down to one. And that's why a lot of B schools combined the master's and the bachelor's program. And they said, if you spend five years with us, we'll give you both the degrees. 